Three people are confirmed dead and about 80 are still unaccounted for after landslides swamped Japan's resort town of Atami. Prime Minister Suga summoned an emergency task force to tackle the crisis. Japanese army has launched a search and rescue operation in the area. The number of rescuers at the site has risen to 1,500. Suga warns that weather forecasters have predicted further downpour.何よりも人命第一の元に警察消防海上保安庁自衛隊が懸命に救命救助捜査活動を行っておりますが気象条件のために平野ドローンが飛ばせない状況であります二次災害に十分警戒をしながら引き続き救助作業を進めているところであります Rescue workers climbed onto cracked roofs and searched cars as more rains hit the area. Over 1,000 rescuers, including 140 troops, have been deployed for the search and rescue operations. Shizuka Governor Heita Kawakatsu said that incessant rainfall triggered the mudslide. Eyewitnesses recount horrific tales of the devastating landslide. <laughs> Atami witnessed a rainfall of 313 millimeters in just 48 hours. Dramatic visuals that have emerged show the veracity of the natural disaster. The mudslide started around 10.30 local time in the morning. Atami is just 90 kilometers away from the capital, Tokyo. The town is famous as a hot spring resort. Japan is currently experiencing its annual rainy season. The country is prone to heavy rainfall and deluge. The landslide has prompted evacuation orders in Shizuka region. Now, for more on this, John Matthews is joining us live from Tokyo. John, what can you tell us about the rescue efforts and the government's plans? Well, currently, we actually have confirmed a fourth person is dead. However, 80, only 80 are missing at this point. Uh, the government and rescuers have now actually published the names of the people who live in the area affected by this sort of streak of mudslides. Uh, so they're working to sort of identify where these people are, if they are in the wreckage, to, of course, find them and, and to get them out. Uh, rescue efforts are proceeding, as, again, as you mentioned. Uh, helicopters are in the area. The JSDF, Japan Self-Defense Forces, uh, have been dispatched. So the manpower is there. It's only a matter of time as to whether they can sort of pull people from the wreckage as quickly as they can. And what can we expect over the next 24 to 48 hours with more rains expected? Will there be more mudslides potentially? Well, let's be very clear about this. The uh, officials there at Atami have said even a small amount of mudslide, even a small amount of rain, excuse me, could cause greater mudslides. So the downpours coming soon do pose a severe threat to the area. Uh, many more have been evacuated over the last couple of days knowing this. And uh, it's a wait and see question as to how many more ho houses will be affected. John Matthews, live from Tokyo. Thank you so much for joining us.